A controversial kafia ban inside the Ontario legislature has sparked a massive debate across the province and now a protest. Hundreds gathered outside Premier Doug Ford's Etobicoke office to call on him and his party members to take action and reverse the ban. <laughs> The rally was organized by the Ontario Federation of Labour Union that has described the kafia ban as racist and an attack on Palestinian, Arab and Muslim communities across the province. We came to the office of Premier Ford today uh, to tell him a direct message that he needs to speak to his caucus and they need they have had a couple opportunities this week to overturn the motion and allow uh, the kafia to be worn. Um, however, the Conservative caucus uh, continues to block any motions. This comes a day after independent MPP Sarah Jama wore the kafia at Queen's Park despite the ban. She was asked by the Speaker to take it off or leave the legislature and she refused both options. We're disturbed. Uh, I'm sure many folks have seen the photo that was released when the clerk of the house was bending over and asking Sarah Jama to leave for wearing the kafia. Uh, this uh, has uh, shook our community. House Speaker Ted Arnett has prohibited the kafia as he has described wearing it as an overt political statement since they're often spotted at pro-Palestinian rallies since the ongoing war in the Middle East. Free, free Palestine! Meanwhile, the demonstrators I spoke to say the kafia is a significant cultural symbol and not political, and it's been worn for decades, and banning it is anti-Palestinian. The NDP has twice attempted to overturn the ban, failing both times, with a handful of progressive conservative MPPs voting against it. And now a coalition of lawyers have filed a formal request with the Speaker's office to reverse the ban. In a video posted online, NDP leader Marit Stiles says her party plans to defy the kafia ban if it's not reversed by May 6th, when MPPs return to Queen's Park. Just last week, Premier Doug Ford urged his caucus to support the NDP in overturning the kafia ban, but after said it's up to members of parliament and it's a sensitive topic. All other opposition parties, including the Liberals and Green Party, have also pushed to overturn the ban. In Etobicoke, Jasmine Graywall, City News.